All right, so just like with multiplication, it's the same exact rule. So again, if you have the same sign, you're going to get a positive answer. And if you have different signs, you're going to get a negative answer. So again, I'm going to just take the absolute values and just work with those numbers like I normally would. So I'm going to do 72 divided by 6. 6 goes into 7 one time. Go ahead and subtract that. Bring down my 2. 6 goes into 12 two times, which gives me 12. Nothing left over. So I'm getting 12 as my answer, but I have to look. I have positive and a negative, so different signs are going to give me a negative 12 for my answer. When I go to my second problem, it is negative 54 divided by 9. So again, I'm going to take just the regular numbers, 54 divided by 9. 9 goes into 5 zero times, so 9 goes into 54 six times, which works out perfectly. So I'm getting 6 as my answer, but again, I need to look back. I have a negative and a positive number, so my answer is going to be negative since those were different signs. And for my last problem, I have a negative 143 divided by a negative 13. So 143 divided by 13. 13 can't go into 1, but it goes into 14 one time. Subtract that, bring down my 3. And 13 goes into 13 also one time. And nothing left over again. So I'm getting 11. This time I had a negative divided by a negative. So same signs are giving me a positive 11 for that answer.